Okay, guys. Um, we're still talking about the applied anatomy of the piriform fossa. I remember uh, the video we made on the anatomy of the piriform fossa gained a lot of views. Okay, so I saw the need to actually talk about the applied anatomy of this place. And now we saw that the piriform fossa can be spelled piriform fossa can be spelled with a Y here. It is also known as piriform sinus. It is also known as piriform recess. It is also known as smuggler's fossa. All right, just one place. Right, so looking at this whole stuff and um this okay this narrow place here is actually what we call the p from fossa or p from sinus small glass fossa or whatever you call it okay so let me still look at it again so p from sinus it's actually like a pit all right, a pit inside your throat. Now, if I could ask you, what is the applied anatomy that can be associated with something that looks like a pit? All right, this is likely, um, since it is a pit, and since the throat or the trachea is where you swallow things, all right, so things like fish bone, uh, things like fish bone, or let me say, any hard material you eat, can actually lodge there, okay, and refuse to move because this place is a pit, it's a it's a deep place, okay. So now just gave you guys an idea of the applied anatomy. So beneath the mucosa of the piriform fossa lies the internal laryngeal nerve, okay. So beneath this place, there's an important nerve that lies here. That's the internal laryngeal nerve. Okay, so therefore. Removal of foreign bodies that lodge in the piriform fossa, okay? When you are removing foreign bodies like maybe a fish bone or maybe a bone of any um, meat you are eating or any hard substance from the piriform fossa, all right, you can, by mistake, injure the internal laryngeal nerve, okay? So now when you injure the internal laryngeal nerve, when you injure your nerve, you know that it will affect the place where the nerve supplies, okay? And this internal laryngeal nerve supplies the supraglottic part of the tongue and the supraglottis, right? So it will lead to anesthesia in the supraglottic part of the tongue, right? And you know that your tongue is responsible for tasting, so anything that affects the tongue will affect how you are tasting food and all that, okay? So this is the supraglottis. Coming up here to the supraglottic part of the tongue is supplied by the internal laryngeal nerve okay so this will cause an anesthesia to this area of the body okay so guys that's it about the applied anatomy of the piriform fossa piriform sinus uh piriform recess small glass fossa so many names attached to it all right so see you guys in the next tutorial right now